Oh, I think they're in the, one of the Dakotas, there's like Aaron. There's mm -hmm. just not that many of them. Uh, but let's take a look at Eclipse. I've definitely heard that name before. Yeah. Gonna try and see if I can find something. Obviously, they're going Falco. And uh, they got some pretty solid results. They do pretty well with their weeklies, it looks like. Ty typically placing in somewhere in top five. Even a couple first place finishes here. So definitely going to be a battle. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to get into this. Yeah, indeed. And we're starting on town, which is a bold choice against Falco, who is known for causing havoc on that right side of town. Um, but, you know, obviously, be sword fighter. <laughs> Don't really know what this character has in store, so anything could happen. But One thing wow. that can definitely happen, that down throw to up air. There's, there's situations where it's true, there's situations where it isn't. <laughs> but I, I wanted to... <laughs> Damn, I wanted to talk about that interaction before it happened because I watched him playing earlier and doing exactly that to a Falco. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, me Swordfighter wrecks the spaces at the ledge. That semi-spike angle is just brutal. At best, they can maybe up me again, but he can just reset it and do it again. And it's kind of like a death sentence. So. Yeah, and it feels like if you get certain hits of that up it just has way too much weird Sakurai angle knockback that another up is not even going to get you back to ledge. Yeah, there's Especially that, Falco. There's just like that one angle that just has like all your cursed energy just like yeah. funnel me through it. <laughs> like, you will go to the bottom right blast zone. Ooh, yeah. So that's definitely a DI check. I yeah. think if you hold out, you're generally okay, and it might become like a tech chase situation sure. or like a, a DI chase situation. I'm not sure, but either way, Eclipse not finding the angles he needs, not dying to the up airs just yet, but that's still like a rough precedent for the start of the set to set. Which is interesting once again why I'm surprised we're here on town because you would imagine you want those up airs to be taking stocks as early as possible. And with mm -hmm. that giant ceiling of town, it makes those you know off the top kills a little bit more rare. Yeah, and um, like you said, the right side, the right side is that the shorter one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the right side, Falco's back air is like crazy there. I think he gets a lot of really good platform extensions here too. Yes. I can't speak that much to Misor Fighters like ideal stages. I think he's pretty solid on PS2, but yeah. Either way. Uh, Subbed out is doing a really good job. He's keeping his spacing clean. He's gonna have to be careful in his recovery, but he's able to hit past the ledge and just force Eclipse to just find something different. Uh oh, this is. Oh no! Oh, oh no! That was dirty. You can't get hit by the laser there, and then the taxi platform out. Dubbed out actually got put on notice here. Eclipse literally slid town and city at five. It was just like, <laughs> do me a solid. <laughs> like, do me a favor real quick, bro. I need to. It was so crazy because that was quite the mix of I was like, oh, we're going to get an up throw and then he's going to, you know, try to swing or fit for like a back air or something. And mm -hmm. Something more sinister was in the books there. Ooh. I have seen a lot of clips from Scrubbed Out. On oh, just the sleep of the wheel right there for a moment. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's shown a lot of cool movement ideas with that side B. Mm -hmm. He quoted saying, he, he was quoted as saying, side B makes me sword fighter move like a good character. <laughs> that one might do it. Yes. Yeah. Completely north. Yes. No hope of survival on that angle. I know the town and city doesn't have like the uh, top blast zone that you're hoping for, but he found it no problem right there. Falco also being a little on the heavier side, it's probably even easier to find those extensions. So really good stuff from Dubbed Out, especially keeping his composure off that really unfortunate second stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of went blow for blow there, and I mean, Dubbed Out really found a, a lot of great kills there. Was just kind of playing their game, and even though Eclipse had that wonky town and city kill, it felt like he really never threw dubbed off, dubbed out, out of like his rhythm mm -hmm. or off of his game. Uh, like the game plan was solid, simple, and it was effective. Yeah, even when he got that big extension, I think there's a moment where dubbed out just doesn't move for two seconds, and he's just like, I think I figured this out. And yeah. then from then on, he was just back in the driver's seat. But running it back to town, clearly, okay, me personally, <laughs> I don't care if I went off stage. I ain't like that taxi platform. Yeah, I wouldn't come back. <laughs> I wouldn't want to come back either, but. Hey, you leave it open and the clips is running it right back. Trying to get some funky Falco things on this stage, but I don't know. The only funky thing happening is this Me Sword Fighter kit right now. Yeah, Me Sword Fighter is getting a lot of mileage out of like the projectile, f those falling back. Back airs have been really uh -oh. good. Oh, I was really afraid of that with the platform. I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to find an early kill. Mm. Uh, but yeah, Eclipse hasn't found like a lot of the main Falco combo starters you see are like, you know, up tilt, falling neutral air, stuff like that. He's kind of just been struggling to get these straight hits. He's keeping it close, but we definitely haven't seen the Falco movie as you would expect to see. Exactly, exactly. Oh, a nice spot dodge. It doesn't get the back air to connect, but actually set up in a nice scenario here. One read, and you can get the stock Ooh. here. Ah. 
Eclipse definitely wow. making some plays here. Got dubbed out on his back foot, but just hasn't been able to clutch this first stock just yet. Been really close to the right position with these back airs, but mm. hopefully we don't see him start to struggle. We saw that up smash out of shield, which was a little bit less calculated than what we've seen before. So dubbed out could definitely take advantage if Eclipse starts to panic and that down smash is going to do it and give dubbed out the first stock. Yeah, I mean, that just little sword swipe is such a consistent KO option for a character like this to have, you know, just, mm -hmm. oh, I read that you're going to be here. Uh, I have a KO option that could kill at around 150. Very nice. You can definitely tell that Eclipse is starting to get more comfortable with Ooh. that. That was ugly. Yeah. That was that was ugly, bro. <laughs> like, why we go for the down smash there? I like, mean, I, <laughs> I was about to gas him up and be like, yo, he's getting really good at punishing that me sword fighter, uh, those specials, and he's like, he's really good at the spacing. But down smash, it, it worked. It just looked stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was no oof behind it. Yeah. All right. And that's a big up tilt for Eclipse here. Once again, we're at this ledge. I'm always so scared Ooh. because it's that right side of town. And that top blast zone just going to come into play. Mm -hmm. Dubbed out, barely living that up here. Eclipse definitely looking really good right now. Uh, he's starting to fire back with his lasers just to – he doesn't have to focus on reflecting Chakram or – the shuriken, shuriken yeah. just needs to make sure that Dubdow doesn't get it. Why did down air just do 25? That is actually, up air and down air are actually criminal moves on me, Sword Fighter. Uh, down air is just nasty and has like one of the wackiest multi hit hitboxes. And up air, obviously, you know, yeah. uh, doing like 20% or something along those lines. Yeah, up air is just like, gotta grab, you know the vibes, like, you know where we're going with this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as soon as Dubdow had that huge lead, uh, or Eclipse had that huge lead, dubbed out, just kind of struggling once again to take this stop. Got him at 180% on town in City, which is unheard of, especially for a spacey. Yeah. But with all this rage on me, Sword Fighter, gotta be careful. Finds the bear, staying in the lead, and we're seeing the crowd really come alive for Eclipse. Yeah, and I mean, I'm glad that we're seeing Laser come out from Eclipse because you mentioned it earlier, but dubbed out was like winning the projectile battle in game one, and it's like, you have literally Falco Laser, one of the best reflectors in the game. And it seems like Eclipse have come to his senses and is starting to put on a show. Mm -hmm. Oh, and now we're seeing the opposite. Dubbed out, being a little bit behind on that reaction, trying to find an up smash out of shield. Probably maybe getting a little bit desperate himself to find that stock. It's starting to really get dire for him. He's at 75%. Doesn't get the edge guard either. Eclipse is just being really patient when he's picking his shots and just with punishing Ooh. and doing a really great job of just really positioning himself well to punish those me fighter uh, me sword fighter specials if that took the stock that would have been the wackiest reversal and uh it would have put clips on notice here but it's actually hanging on to this second stock here mm. yeah playing a bit of foot season you got burned yeah almost taking a, a, a play out of like falco's playbook just like jumping around empty hopping and threatening that back air until you drop shield and i really like that play from dubbed out got a lot of work to do here but let's see if maybe we can get some combos going yeah, you know, that forward air <laughs> into the thrust, optimal. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. He's playing really safe. He's got a lot of momentum oh. here. Yeah, but you got to be careful. Don't let it be you. When me sword fighter starts getting grabs, things start getting spicy. And we're back at the same percentage where we saw down throw to up throw, uh -oh. up air kill. And it happens yet again. Same position, same percentage. It's just fully a run back, except a little bit worse because he had all that extra rage. Uh, on top of it, so yeah. unfortunate play for Eclipse. He really found his footing and just rode that 10 seconds of momentum well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like I said, dubbed out, started to get a couple of grabs there at that last stock, and things get a little heated when you start letting me Sword Fighter get those down throws because it just, just starts opening up their offense for that up air to go in and close out stocks. Yeah, I, I, I really think it was definitely close. It was definitely Eclipse's mm -hmm. game to win. Like, he was making yeah. really good plays, but Every time, he just really struggled to actually get the kill. Except that time, yeah. <laughs> which was a strong punish. It just looked Very stupid. gross. <laughs> yeah, he was, so, he was so close. Like, the fact that... Okay, pause, pause, pause. The fact that Dubbed Out won this is crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, look at this. How? Oh. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> Did he win this? That was insane. Like, can you see? We got 146, 110, two stocks, and it's 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 over. That person lost. Especially on Town and City. Like, he he truly just 
uh, an up tilt would have gotten the kill, maybe oh. even a grab or a falling neutral air to lead to up tilt. There were a lot of different ways Falco could have taken that, but I think he just got a little bit nervous and scrubbed out, just really locked in defensively. You saw him being like, all right, I'm just going right. to space with these back airs. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to dare your shield, but I'm going to keep it safe. He just didn't allow himself to get punished. And if you know what your opponent's going to do, you can't lose. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what it kind of comes down to at the end of the day. Um, it's really tough because